transitioning, saints of God, believe it or not. The Lord has us in a, in a place where we're transitioning uh, in, as far as politics is concerned. As I said on last week, we're transitioning, even hopefully with, 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 a, with, a, with, a, with a vaccine, we're transitioning out of this COVID era. Uh, this COVID era, era has set everything, everything in a in an unknown space. Uh, we are transitioning economically. Uh, many folks have lost their jobs, and some are are receiving um, their unemployment compensation. Uh, we're transitioning in the sense of uh, social justice. Uh, it's it's come to the forefront that there are many uh, young men and women who have died at the hands of law enforcement over the years and, and has come to a place where, where there has been a demand uh, from those that have done protests to say there has to be a transition, there has to be a change. But change cannot come spiritually until we, until we get to the place of reconciling. Uh, and then we can have transformation reconciling as i was beginning to say a moment ago in first corinthians the fifth chapter 17 verse down to the 21st verse it says this therefore if any man is in christ jesus that is as if any man is is grafted in uh to christ jesus uh he uh, has become a new creation or he has become born again or he has been born anew by the spirit by the spirit. This is not a flesh thing, but this is a spirit thing. All things are passed away. Our previous uh, norms and, and previous spiritual conditions are passed away. Behold, all things have become new, or they become spiritually awakened in a new life. I want to use as a subject this morning, praise God, amen. I'm looking for the new thing. Yeah. I'm looking for the new thing, or I'm looking for the new, new, praise God. Not the new normal now, not the new normal, praise God. We are not normal, and we, we are, I believe, we're not even expected, praise God, to return to normal. The Paul says it like this. Paul says, I die daily. So if he dies daily, that means the next day, praise God, he is, he's awakened to a new creation. He's awakened to a new existence. He's awakened to a new way of loving, a new way of being kind, a new way of ministry, a new anointing in God, a freshness in God. We that are believers, we ought to be used to transformation, praise God. We ought to be used to transition, praise God. We ought to be used to praise God. Amen. All things are passed away and behold, all things becoming brand new. Praise God. Amen. Now, now let's let's the scripture that Sister Blake uh, read. Praise God. Let's let's look at that for a minute. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, she read Philippians the third chapter and, and, and verse thirteen. Uh, if you have your Bibles, turn there. Turn there. It's important this morning that you track with me the, today the best you can. Amen. In Philippians three and thirteen, it says, "Brethren, I do not consider myself to have uh, taken hold." Glory. You know, here's a man, amen, that ruled three fourths of the New Testament, praise God. And he was declaring something here. He said, I do not consider myself to have apprehended, or I do not consider myself to have hate, taken hold of it yet. In other words, I have not arrived yet, praise God. Hallelujah. None of us, praise God, amen, have, have are living so holy, praise God, that we that we are ready, praise God, to see Jesus right now, praise God, amen. It's only by grace that we're going to get to heaven anyway, praise God. It's not because of our good works, and it's definitely sure not because of our good looks, praise God. Mm -hmm. It is the grace of God that we're saved. It is the grace of God that we're that we're the, the unmerited favor of God, amen, that we're saved anyway and have anything, praise God, in, in area of walking spiritually and even naturally in because of God's grace. Paul goes on to say this, but this one thing I do, <laughs> glory to God. He said, out of all the things that I want to tell you about, out of all the things that I've been through, out of all the things that I've, I've, I've accomplished uh, in the natural, I've accomplished spiritually, this is one thing I do. 
forgetting. Now I can stop right there, praise God, and I can preach all day long on, 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 on forgetting. Amen. I can be on my knees right now and asking God to help me, praise the Lord, help me to forget some things, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, amen. One thing I do, forgetting what is behind me and straining forward to what is ahead of me. Now, saints of God, 2020 is gone. We can't call it back. We can't call back nothing that have happened and make it and make it the reverse where it didn't happen. Praise God. 2020 has happened. Corona happened. Amen. Whatever it was, whatever she said, whatever he said, it happened. Praise God. Amen. Whatever, praise God, money that you didn't get, that you did get, praise God. It's all over. It happened. Praise God. Amen. He said, he said, I got to learn how to forget those, those things that are behind me. And I got to strain toward what is ahead of me. In other words, he said, in the spirit realm, praise God, I got to push, I got to strain. Uh, those of you that ran track before, praise God, you know how it is. When, when, when you ran, ran, whether it was 100 meters, praise God, or whether, whatever uh, 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 that you may have run. Amen. Runners, that, amen, that come to the finish line, and if they're neck and neck, they will strain to hit the tape. Why? Because they want to be the first one, amen, that crossed the tape. They want to come in first. They want to come in second. Whatever it was that they were straining to get there, praise God. Amen. So Paul was saying here, we got to treat this thing like this is a race for our spiritual existence. He said, I got to forget those things that are behind me, and I got to strain for those things that are ahead of me. Now, one of our problems with, with human tendencies is this, is the issue of, of forgetting. That, that's one of our problems, praise God. Now, let, let, let me give you a little Blakeology about forgetting. Amen. Now, God didn't mean that your memory was just going to just go blank. You're not going to get all timers and you're not going to get some timers and you're just not going to just blank out, praise God, and, and not remember nothing. But the memory that, 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 that Paul was talking about, amen, I'm not going to let those things that are behind me cripple me to the point where they stay consistently in front of me and I can't move forward. I'm going, to, I'm going to forget those things because they are behind me. I'm going to put them in the rear view mirror and I'm not going to keep looking at life through my rear view mirror. I'm going to look at the big glass in front of me instead of the little mirror that's over, over my head. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are continually living, amen, through the rear view mirror, you're not going to be able to see what God has right in front of you. So here it was. He said, amen, I, I got to learn how to forget those things that are behind me. We always seem to go back to the same things and, and start at what was behind instead of saying, Lord, this is the day that you've made, and I'm going to be glad and, and rejoice in it. And God, you've already given me vision for today. And because you gave that vision last week, you gave that vision last year. You've already gave, given me, God, a course, praise God, how to walk in you, amen, that is futuristic and not something, amen, that I got to hold on to in the past. Now, let me give you a couple of things that I believe that the scripture is saying that we need to learn how to forget. Now, the, now, the apostle Paul knew about the struggle that one was going to have with himself and spoke specifically about these things when he said, forget those things that are behind. The first thing that I want to I point out to you in the area of forgetting, you got to forget that you were sinners and remember that you are forgiven. <laughs> Glory. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't mean forget that you're a sinner in the sense that, that you're not grateful that you're saved now and you, you don't remember what you used to do because all of us all remember what we used to do. But forget the trap, forget the bondage, forget the stuff that the enemy want to hold over you to bring you back into shame and bring you back into guilt. Forget that stuff. 
and you tell the devil, devil, I'm forgiven. Devil, I am washed clean. I don't care who brings it up. I don't care if you want to bring it up, if you want to, devil, I am delivered from that. And I'm not going to let you cripple me, praise God, for by bringing up my mess from my past. You know we will. <laughs> There's some folks, praise God, amen, will bring that stuff up to you right today, praise God. Or you, you think you something. Don't you remember when you used to, amen? And you tell them, praise God, amen. Let me tell you something. That stuff been washed under the blood, praise God. My memory has been cleansed, amen, from the bondage of sin, praise God. I remember in the sense of remembering, but I don't remember in the sense of the bondage of it anymore. I am clean. I am forgetting those things that are past that had me in bondage. I am free in God, praise God. I'm liberated by the spirit and the power of God lives in me and not that junk. These folks want to get you trapped in the mess. They want you to get trapped in the junk because they want to tell you, you ain't no better than me. <laughs> Glory to God. And, and you tell them, praise God, I'm not trying to be better than you. Praise God. I just know somebody that's better than both of us. And I live in him. It's him that lives without me. Praise God. My junk is my junk. Amen. My flesh is my junk. But the spirit of God in me is a brand new me. Praise God. And I'm not a body with the junk. Praise God. Because I'm living with the Lord. Hallelujah. Isn't it good to go from, amen, from, from, from living in the junk to living with God? There's another, another praise play, uh, uh, break right there, praise God. Hallelujah. How many of you had enough junk, praise God, amen, that you said, I'm forgetting those things. Those yeah. things are behind me, praise God. I'm a new creature in Christ. I'm born again, hallelujah. I'm redeemed. I'm saved, praise God. I'm not what I used to be. I'm not all what I want to be, but I'm not what I used to be. Aren't you there, praise God? Praise God. Y'all know you are. Hallelujah. So you... You, you, here's the thing that you forget in sin. You forget your desires. And listen, listen. your flesh is not dead. Praise God. Amen. Your flesh is not dead. But some of you, praise God. Amen. Isn't that right, Brother Henderson? Well, I'm going to say something. And Brother Henderson, I know he, I know he can say amen. 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 The taste of dope, praise God. Amen. It's not even in your mouth anymore. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, Deacon Henderson? Praise God. Hallelujah. Because God delivered you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, can you go back? Yeah, you can go back. Hallelujah. God said, I'll let no one snatch you out of my hand, but you sure can jump out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But God has you. God holding you. God took the taste away from you, the desire away from you. Amen. Forget those things. Hallelujah. You got to forget the pain, the pain of your past. You've got to learn how to say, Lord, deliver me from the pain of my past. Yes, there was consequences for the sin that I committed. Praise God. Amen. And some may be still living, amen, in the consequences of those sins because of things that happened. Amen. But you forget the pain of it. The pain of it that holds you in spiritual bondage. Praise God. Hallelujah. The pain of it, amen, to have your minds, amen, still locked in, in the slavery. Praise God. But you've been delivered by the power of God, by the renewing of your mind. And I know how the enemy can come and bring that stuff back up to you, praise God, and sneak sin through the back door of your memory, amen. But you got to find him in the name of Jesus. Here's another thing to forget. You got to forget uh, that our generational curse, curses, that we are now children of God. We got to forget our generational curses and understand that you in another family, you in another generation that's tied to the genealogy of Jesus. See, gen uh, generational curses are, are curses that, that come from one generation to another generation to another generation. But the day you got saved, praise God, in the physical, you're still tied to your genealogy. But in the spirit, praise God, yeah, amen, you got another genealogy. Amen. And by the washing of the blood of Jesus, you're now born into the body of Christ and your genealogy, praise God, goes back through, amen, Jesus to Abraham, back to God. So you in a new, you have a new generation, a new genealogy, amen, that came through Jesus. You got to forget those things that, that have you locked into generational curses, generational bondages. Here's 1 John 1 and 12 says this, it says you are all who received him. To those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God. Hallelujah, glory to God. 
Yes, you you were your mama's baby. Praise God. Yeah, your daddy, amen, amen, said, look at my, my beautiful son, my beautiful daughter. Praise God. Hallelujah. But when you got saved, praise God, amen, Jesus became your brother and God became your daddy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So your genealogy now is connected, praise God, and to the blessings of Abraham and everything that belonged to Abraham, the blessings of Abraham comes to us. And then it comes down through Jesus Christ. So that means that everything that Jesus Christ is, everything that Jesus Christ brought, his healing, his deliverance, amen, his hope, the fruit of the spirit, amen, the gifts of the spirit came through the Holy Ghost, came through Jesus redeeming you. And now you're in another, another genealogy, praise God. You got to forget those things that are tied, amen, to those family curses. Forget those things. I don't care what your uncle did. <laughs> amen. Uh, uh, I don't care what, 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 what Uncle He Haw did. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. You, praise God, amen, have been born into the family of God. And we praise God. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. That is, he's engrafted into God, as I read earlier. Amen. He is a new, new creation. Amen. Born of the Holy Spirit. Washed in his blood. All things, praise God, have passed away. Here's another thing that you need to forget. You need to forget our bitterness and our resentment. We have a new mind now. Forget your bitterness and forget your resentment. Praise God. Hebrew 12, 14 and 15 says this. Make every effort to live in peace with all men and be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one miss the grace of God God, and that no bitter root grow up and cause trouble and defile many. Praise God. Make every effort, the book says, praise God, amen. Make every effort, amen, White House. Make every effort, House. Make every effort, Senate. Make every effort, Governor. Make every effort, school board members, amen. Make every effort to live in peace with all men and be holy without which no man shall see the Lord. You got to forget bitterness. Hallelujah, glory to God. You got to re uh, 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 resist resentment. We have to have a new mind in Christ Jesus. Forgetting those things that are past, looking forward to those things that are coming. But you got to do some forgetting. Another thing you got to do, you got to leave behind our po poverty and excess baggage. Glory to God. John 3, uh, uh, 3 John 2 says this, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as our souls prosper. Now notice this, he said, he said, he prayed that you prosper not in some things, but you prosper in all things and be in good health. Hallelujah. God wants us to prosper and have victory over Corona. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And any other things that, that are attacking the body. Amen. Just as your soul prospers. So there's a there's a physical prosperity, and, the, and then there is a there is a physical prosperity. You, you got to leave behind the poverty mentality. Praise God. And and all the excess baggage, praise God, that you might carry around with you because of stuff in the past. Oh, hallelujah, glory to Help us all, Lord, right now. Hallelujah. Now, you, you let, me, let me tell you something. Say, amen. When I'm preaching, I'm preaching to myself first. It, it's not easy in the natural to do that. Without the help of God, we can't do it. We can't do it. We can't leave behind our poverty mentality. Amen. We can't leave behind the baggage, the stuff, the stuff that folks did to us, the folks that our folks treated us. It's hard to leave that 